Bergerass Creek is an amazing resource here in Louisville. It flows through many eastern Louisville neighborhoods to the Ohio River. In certain places, it has bubbling ripples, lush vegetation, scenic cliffs, and beautiful springs. In other places, Beargrass Creek functions mainly as a concrete drainage ditch that is kept out of sight and off limits. Beargrass Creek flows through Jefferson County in three distinct watersheds. The Muddy Fork, the Middle Fork, and the South Fork. But what exactly is a watershed anyway? Simply put, a watershed is an area between two land bridges that drains rainfall into a stream. Eventually, those streams form together to make larger streams and then rivers. One of my favorite things to do is to walk the banks of Bear Grass Creek with my family, listening to the soothing sound of the creek and to try and spot fish and turtles. The Bear Grass Creek watershed is beautiful, but it has a lot of challenges. 150 years of development pollution and channelization have led to a stream in trouble. We can't turn the clock back on a lot of that development, but there are some things we can do. Okay, let's say I live here at this red stone. When it rains anything I put into my yard or into a storm drain, it is going to flow through a series of ditches until it reaches for a grass creek. But it's not just my backyard. If you trace all those ditches upstream, the creek literally starts in all of our backyards. So what we do in our own neighborhoods makes a difference. Some of the things we can do to improve the health of Beargrass Creek in the watershed are to pick up after our pets. Even in our own yards, bacteria from pet waste can wash into the creek. Plant a rain garden that captures rainwater from your roof. It's beautiful and it keeps a lot of excess rainwater out of storm drains. Don't litter. A lot of trash in the creek was litter in a neighborhood that got washed into a drain. Please don't make it look like Beer Trash Creek. Last year, I participated in a Bear Grass Creek stream cleanup. In short, get involved. The streams aren't going to fix themselves. For a longer list of things you can do, Go to the Kentucky Waterways Alliance website and look for Bear Grass Creek. Please do what you can to protect this place that we all love.